Tell me why somebody's grandparents almost got cussed out at the Diana Ross concert. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, Diana Ross, she saved somebody's grandparents. Hey, you guys. Long time no see. Actually, not really. Not really. The last time I was on camera was like a week ago. I'm actually on my way to go out with somebody. Me and her have never hung out before, so this will be our first time. We're going out, we're having a girls' night, so it should be fun. I'm getting ready. I'm running late as per usual. I just have this scarf around my around my edges to wrap my edges and to lay them down before I go. It's Friday night, just gonna go out and just kick it with some friends. I was, I don't look too crazy. This is what the outfit is given. Just this shirt. I got this a long time ago from Cedar or Cider. Some shorts and a little a little thigh chain actually. It act, it's a uh, it's a waist it's a waist chain. It's a belly chain and it's a thigh chain thingy. The shorts are too high waisted. You can't really see the belly chain, but this is what it's giving. This is what it's giving tonight. Okay, real quick, I have like a really quick dating story that just happened to me. So I was talking to this guy online and this was a really quick conversation. This was nothing, this was nothing, nothing. This was really quick. The very, very first thing he said when he jumped in my inbox was, uh, I wanna be blunt, I wanna get to the point. Uh, what are you What are you looking for as far as dating? And it's always like, anytime a guy asks that, it's just like right off the bat, like no hello, like barely a hello, barely a nothing, just straight, what are you looking for? That's like, to me, it's a red flag. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I know that it's just, you're not really asking because you're you're trying to see who's serious. You asking to try to make it look like you're serious, but really you just want to fuck around. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I told him like, now I want to be intentional and uh, I know I'm not looking for a fuck buddy or one night stand or whatever. And then he said something. He said something to me. Then the very next thing he said, so what what do you look for in a man? Do you do you like a dominating, controlling man? you know, who makes the decisions. And I'm just like, oh my God. First of all, you're asking the wrong questions. Like you already starting off wrong. Like I already know who I'm dealing with, what type of dude I'm dealing with. And then I said, so what's the definition of a dominant man who's in control to you? Like, what, is, what does that look like to you? And then he did the, he did the face palm emoji. He was like, I'm just talking about in general, like, you know, nobody, wants to be with somebody who's controlling and narcissistic. And I'm just like, first of all, first of all. <laughs> hold up, hold up. So I'm not explaining that part correctly. So when he said that nobody wants anybody who's controlling and narcissistic, he wasn't talking about himself. He was actually talking about not wanting a controlling and narcissistic woman. So he felt in order to avoid that, that he needed to be a dominant controlling man in order to combat the woman. So that's why he was asking me up front if I liked dominant men, and just in case I felt like I was getting a little too froggy, I guess, or a woman was getting a little bit too froggy, that he could nip it in the bud and he could be the dusty controlling leader that he thinks he is. Okay, bye. First of all, well, ironically, quickly jumping into talking about wanting to be a dominant man and controlling in, re in a relationship is actually narcissistic behavior. And I said, I like men who are men, men who are dominant, men who are assertive, men who are confident in themselves. I like that, but those type of men don't have to say it. They just are, it's just implied, it's just in them, it's on them. And that's that's basically what I said. <laughs> and then he, he he needed the laughing emoji and he was like, oh, you know, just I'm, I'm just trying to ask a question. You know, it was just a question, you have a good day. And I didn't respond, but it's just like, it's really weird how for some men, like, when you see a woman or when you're when you're showing interest, I guess, in a woman, the first thought that comes to your head, the first thought that comes to your mind is, how can I control this person? How can I dom How can I prove myself to be a dominant man to you? How can I dominate this interaction? It's just like, you jumped over asking my name, my last name, like all, all of the basic stuff. Or you ask questions like that. And I just, I just wonder for, for the dusties out there, when you formulate these questions in your mind, what do you think the, the reaction is going to be from the other side? Like, what, what did you think that I was going to say? It's really weird how 
grown ass adult want to dominate or control another grown ass person. I'm not a little girl. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown ass woman. Why are you looking to see if you can control me in some weird ass way? Why? You can, you can dominate uh, these bills. You can control my bills. That's what you can do. Give me a credit card. Give me a credit card so, I, so, so you can have control of these bills. Now, had I said that, had I came at him like that, then it would have been like, oh, well, uh, you, you women are always asking for money. What money? Why does everything go back to money? Like, I would have been in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? If I told you to control these bills, control this money. Here's my cash app. Here's my login for, for my utility bills. Control that. I would be wrong, though. Because y'all y'all always bitching about this, too. Men are always bitching about women who are controlling. Because just think, if I would have came at him and was like, oh, yeah, so in my relationships, I like to be in control of everything. I like to know where my man is. I like to make sure everything is on a schedule. I like to know where he at at all time. If I came at him like that in the very be in the very first conversation that we had each had with each other, he would have been like, whoa, like, damn, bitch. Slow down. Like, you too control and I just met you. You thinking like that to women who, who do that. Why do you think that I want to be controlled by you? Sometimes I really wonder what type of women that these men interact with in real life. Like, I'm really curious. And I cannot help but come to the conclusion that they don't interact with women in real life. I just can't imagine that y'all are coming up to women with this, with this energy, with this, with that dumb clown shit. I really can't. It's just no wonder why some people be out here and they're just so empty when it comes to interacting with, with, with the opposite sex or with other people or forming relationships. It's just when you're meeting somebody, why does, why does it have to be a battle? Talking about, do I like a dominant man? Do I like a man who's controlling? Why, why, do I like, why would I want that? What is the end goal? Are we, like, why is the end goal, why are we looking to conquer each other? This is supposed to be fun. Like we're supposed to be getting to know each other. Why, are we conquering territory or something? Like why, why, do you, why do you need to be in control so bad when you're just getting to know somebody? You don't even know my name. <laughs> I'm grown grown, okay? I'm grown grown. And it just feels really good to be in a place where like that shit ain't cute. I wonder if he really thought like him saying that, that I was just gonna giggle and laugh around it and try to really like answer him and and, and, and say, oh yeah, I like my men dominating and controlling. That's cute, I like it. Yeah, give me that. You can give me your credit card and control these bills, control this rent, control this utility bills, control, control these night outs that I have with my, with my girlfriends, control that. Get to know people, you know, don't be weird. There's no way that you can explain any of that, that behavior that men have of like wanting to control women, wanting to control so bad without being sexist. Like if you were meeting with your homies, if you were meeting with a dude, you were meeting new friends for the first time, you know, you out with the dude, boys. Is your first inclination to be like, oh yeah, I wanna dominate this friendship. I wanna control this friendship. Do you like that? Do you like homies that is dominating? You would never say that. When, you, when you're at work and you're interviewing for a new job, you would never say, oh yeah, I'm gonna control this whole department. Do y'all like that? You know, you like, a, you like a man being a man at the job? You would never say that. Really weird and unsettling how some people, some men think women are just, just there for them to just dominate and control. Don't be like that. Don't, don't be like that. What a waste of a pretty face. Like some of these men be so cute, but so dumb. What a waste, what a waste of a face. Once I start hearing that shit, like, I, I just be getting so turned off. It don't matter what you look like, what you think you look like, how fine you think you are. That is so off-putting. I have to go, <laughs> have to uh, finish uh, putting this, some makeup on, laying these edges down, and I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all with me. Uh, I might show y'all some little clips, or I might just come back to a different scene, or I might show y'all some clips of where I'm at, but, Y'all have a good night. I will see y'all later. This is really cute. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? 
It is the Sunday before Labor Day, so it's September 3rd. I don't know why I didn't just say it was September 3rd, but whatever. But hey guys, this weekend, I, I've been chilling. I've been enjoying it actually. Yesterday, my family had a little barbecue at the beach. It was really cute. And today is just gonna be an in the house day. I did run some errands before this. And this is just cause I needed to get some things and, but I really need to clean my house. That's what I really need to do. I'm just gonna be cleaning today. Look what I got at the store. So I got myself some flowers. So these were on sale at Pick and Save, which is a local store near here. And these are, what are these called? These are called Crazy Daisies. And the colors are just so cute. And I actually for like a minute now, I've been wanting to start getting myself flowers. So I'm like, this is a perfect, this is a perfect opportunity. And these are so cute and they would look good in my little dining space right here. So I'm gonna put them in a vase that I have. And I mean, look at the colors, look how popping they are. So yeah, I got myself some flowers. I haven't did that in a very long time and I deserve, okay, let me tell you. Especially, especially, especially recently. Why can't I say especially? Especially recently, I deserve. So I'm gonna put these in a vase. And these are also some real flowers that I got recently, but I didn't get these. Somebody got them for me. Put these, I couldn't find my other vases, so I put them in this little black vase. It's really giving like vampire, like <laughs> romance Halloween or some shit, but those are cute too. These are really cute too. But I got a vase for these. I'm about to put these in the vase right now. And uh, I'll be right back. It is hot as hell outside today. It's in the 90s up here. And I did my little running around early because I'm like, look, I'm not trying to be out here when it's like really scorching outside. So ain't nothing, uh -uh, ain't nothing to do out there when it's that, that hot. So I'm gonna be in the house. This is gonna be a cleaning day. I really, what I was really debating on doing was going to Lake Geneva. And Lake Geneva is this little cute vacation beach town in Wisconsin. Uh, and a lot of people from Illinois go there too because it's a nice like weekend getaway uh, if you want to do that. Or it's a nice day trip too. So I'm like, I kind of want to take myself there. Okay, why, why am I struggling to get this off? Okay. I kind of want to take myself there tomorrow. But we'll see how I'm feeling. I need to do... Like I said, I need to do some cleaning and I also need to do just some checking in with myself as far as like my work. I don't know if I told y'all, but I, I have an LLC, my own little small business that I'm doing. It's not little, let me not call it little, like not important, but like it is small because it's just me running it. But I have that business and I just onboarded a new client like last month back in August. So I have some work that I need to do with them and also just some work that I need to do with advertising my business more. Let me get, let me get a, a some scissors. I'm so grateful that I just started my LLC back in February and I kind of finally, finally landed this big, not a big client, but I mean, they're paying really well and the work is very rewarding. So and because for a long time, too, I was like, man, I'm not really getting the work that I want. But it's just like I just started back in February. So to have to, to even have movement on my business like this period is really a blessing because a lot of people can't say that with their small businesses. Sometimes it do take a long time, you know, to get stuff off the ground and to get people to notice you. So but I just I really just need to reconfigure as far as like marketing and uh just getting myself out there more. So I'm also gonna take today to do that and clean and yeah. This is so cute. Hold on, I want these to be a little bit more. Okay, they're cute like that too. I'm gonna put them in the center right here. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I can put it over here. this because I mean this is this is the this is the centerpiece I don't want she's the star of the table I don't want anything else on the table table off but yeah y'all I didn't I didn't really want nothing I'm just checking in and 
again, this is just doing check-ins like this with y'all is a way for me to keep myself, hold myself accountable when it comes to actually turning the camera on. Cause y'all know vlogging is new to me and like, I, I don't just want to do it just to be an influencer or whatever. I also just want to do it to just, you know, keep a record of my life. And this is just like a time capsule of my life too. So I want to be mindful about just being, making this a routine, you know? It's looking cute. She's looking cute. I went to Marshall's earlier today. I got some hair stuff. So... I'm gonna try this TGIN because I like their products. I like TGIN stuff. I never tried their moisturizing styling gel. So I picked that up. I also got, I'm finally going to try their Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating, Deep Hydrating Hair Mask too. I heard about this before. I heard that is good. So I wanted to try this out as well. So I got that. I also got this Neutrogena Micro Mist. It's like, really, I just want to use it to tint my lace because <laughs> I got a new lace wig. And I always hear that this type of stuff, like these little uh, skin tinters are good or these sunless sprays are good for your wigs too. And it's a cheaper option. So I got that. Some Cetaphil body spray moisturizer. This is just to hydrate your skin, I guess, throughout the day. So And I like looking hydrated. I don't like no dry, ashy skin. So I'm trying this out too. Oh my God, was that my first ever like little store, home goods, Marshall's haul? I think I, I think I just did that for y'all. I think I just did that for y'all. Like what? Who do I think I am? These are cute. I want to, uh, I just like when they're more clustered together. I don't know if you're really supposed to be doing this, if this harms the flower or whatever. I'ma fix it, but that's what it's looking like. I'm a queen. I got some stuff laying around that y'all probably see. I'm gonna clean. And I'm gonna say bye to y'all now because I think the GoPro is about to die. So I just wanted to check in and say hi. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday weekend. I'll pick back up with y'all later. I don't know when y'all gonna see me, but I'm gonna pick back up with y'all later. Maybe today. I would do a clean with me, but I don't know. And my little flowers, look how cute they are. Like seriously, look at them. Buy yourself flowers, it's so important. Hey, what's up? It is, it's been like a week, I ain't gonna lie, it's been over a week since I didn't pick up this camera. But the last time I was talking to y'all, I said that I was going to Lake Geneva I, well, I was thinking about going to Lake Geneva because it was during it was during Labor Day weekend and I didn't end up going. I ended up staying around town. I did I did go out on Monday, the Labor Day, but I didn't go to Lake Geneva. I just stayed locally. But hey, how are y'all doing? As y'all can see, I'm kind of like, I'm looking really settled in right now, but it's still light outside. And when I tell you what time it is, what time is it? It is 3.42 in the afternoon. And already at 3.42, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. I stayed up so late last night and I don't know why. I, I was restless, but then I did some meditation because I, I just needed to check in with myself on some things that were going on. And what really helps me is doing some meditation and centering myself. And after I did that, I felt so calm and loose and just more at peace with what's been going on. But I did stay up late. I don't know, I, cause I just felt rejuvenated, I guess. So I stayed up late and I was on my phone watching YouTube. YouTube. And I stayed up to like almost one in the morning and then jumped up at 7 a.m. And I'm just, I'm just so tired. I, I've, I've been working today, but I just feel like I've just been going through the motions. So I, I didn't already took my shower. <laughs> I didn't already, I got my robe on. I got this robe from, there was this hair company I ordered a lace front from. My, my first ever like official, official good quality wig. And they, they gave me this little, this little satin robe. I mean, it's wrinkly, but it's cute. I think it looks cute on me in cam on camera. So 
today's Thursday. I just wanted to jump on here, of course, and say what's up with y'all and give y'all a little check-in of what's been going on. Even though I'm, I've been gone for a little bit, I did go to see Diana Ross in concert uh, on this, pa this past Sunday. So like four days ago, and it was so cool. First of all, I'm gonna show you the clips here. <laughs> Still, she still puts on such a good show. She's such a mesmerizing lady. And of course, Diana is known for the gowns and the kind of silky, sultry voice where she don't have to do too much, but she can still command an entire room. And she still has it at 79 years old. She's about to be 80. And she just still like, whenever I think of the definition of a diva, Diana Ross's face pops up. Whenever I think of opulent, diva, pop star, Diana is the first face I feel like that pops up for me. Tell me why somebody's grandparents almost got cussed out at the Diana Ross concert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We they were in the mezzanine seating and we were in the second row. It was a really good seat. That's, it was like a really good seat. We were closer than I thought it would be. I thought we would be up some stairs or something. I, I was thinking like the balcony, but we were like on the first level, kind of like that first, it was the second level, but it was like, if you ever been in the theater, like maybe I'll try to put a picture of how how the theater looked. Well, you saw, y'all saw the videos or whatever. That's where we were. That's how close we were to the stage. During the uh, up tempo songs, people were up, they were dancing, they were drinking, they were having a good time. Cause when you go to a concert, you're supposed to stand up, right? So tell me why somebody who was sitting behind my mom and that somebody was an old, older white lady. It was actually a couple. So older white lady, she was with her man or whatever. They were sitting down at this particular section of the show and they tapped my mom and I saw that my mom had sat down after they had tap tapped her shoulder. And I'm like, why are you, what happened? Why are you sitting down? And she said, well, they told us to sit down. They can't see. I'm like, first of all, why are you, why would you sit down? I immediately got upset. I turned to them, I turned to her and I said, we pay for these seats. They didn't pay for our seats. 
uh, we're at a concert, I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand, like, what is that? I just, I had never, <laughs> I had I have never, that's a first for me. I have never ever been to a concert where you're supposed, where you've paid your own coin. When you, you paid your own coin or somebody in the group paid the, the coin for everybody. And somebody else who's not even associated with the group told somebody to sit down because they can't see because they sitting down at a concert. And I was just like, oh, oh my God. And so I wanted to be petty. I really did. I wanted to be petty and stand up the entire time. That was my plan. Cause I, I continued to stand up for like 10 minutes after they said that. But the sh it just so happened that the heels that I had on at the show, they were really hurting my feet. So I did have to sit down periodically after they said that they couldn't see. But best believe I stood up when I felt it in my spirit to stand up and stand for Miss Diana Ross. Like, do you know who's in front of us right now? I have never seen Diana Ross in concert and it's always been on my bucket list to go see her while she's while she's here, to give her her flowers while she's here. And just to have somebody say like, sit down, we can't see. If you can't see. And, and I think my mom said they told her to sit down because there's some people who are behind us who are too weak to stand up. What does that have to do with me? That that ain't got nothing to do with me. Your knees, your feet being too weak to, to lift you up at this particular time in the concert or whatever, that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you were having some type of ailment, or if you needed some type of accessible seating, you shouldn't have been sitting where you were sitting at. You should have booked tickets to sit in the places for people who have actual issues going on. Yo, you, yo, your knees being fragile ain't got nothing to do with me in this moment. What is, what does that have to do with me? Somebody's, 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 uh, pale grandparents, they almost got it up in that year. When I tell you Diana Ross, she saved somebody grandparents because I'm like, do like, I, I, I had started going off a little bit and then I was like, nah, like I'm, y'all not finna ruin this moment for me. I'm gonna just stand up. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about. And even if y'all were to get security or something, what is the security going to do? They going to tell me to sit down at a concert? And it's just, it's just weird. Like the audacity that some people, that some people have, especially in a, in a situation where like people are having fun, the black people are having fun. Like the audacity of some of y'all. Child, hold up, but yeah. I had to, I had to jump on a call. I had to jump on a call real quick. It was just crazy that that couple behind us had such uh, uh, an issue with people standing. Yeah, but you know what? Our section, and it was particularly our section that was really dead compared to the other sections. And no, we weren't, we weren't in the wrong seats. We weren't in handicapped nothing. It was just our seats were kind of not our seats, our section was kind of like dead compared to compared to other sections and especially compared to the floor. Like the people on the, the actual first floor, floor basically, even though we were like a step above, like literally a step above the floor. But the people who were in front of us on the floor closer to the stage, they were having a good time. And I'm like, man, I wish I got those tickets. And I almost did, but whatever. I had a good time still, despite that, despite people trying to steal our joy. I had a good time. You know what's crazy? I have been in Milwaukee. On Sunday when I saw Diana Ross, that was my third straight day in Milwaukee. And it wasn't for work or nothing, it was for play. But not like, not no, not the play play, but for play. Just a little, little cute play. Third straight day, I didn't stay overnight. I was just out and then I came back home. And when I tell you I was tired, I'm not for the street life. I'm not, I'm not the person, I cannot be that person that be all up and down the highway like five, five days a week just to be among amongst the fray. I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> Cause I am still from that weekend tired. I feel like still catching up on like sleep. So I'm gonna sleep good tonight though. Trust me, because like I said, I did not sleep good last night. Or I, I it wasn't that I didn't sleep good. I didn't, I didn't fall asleep early. I, I stayed up late. Tomorrow, ironically, I'm going to, 
I'm going to Milwaukee again. <laughs> I'm going out to a, what do they call it? Uh, uh, Beer District Summer Concert Festival. And I think this is the last of the season because summer is pretty much up out of here. Fall is here. And I'm going there and I'm going to just be walking around too. Tomorrow's going to be a late night. I already know. And I need to get some sleep. I do. I'm not freaking around tonight. I'm going to probably be in bed early. I already got my food out for dinner. Uh, just Floki trying to get in the camera. I'm going to eat early. Then I'm going to be in bed and watch The Crown and edit this video. Because this video needs to go out tomorrow. Today's Thursday and my upload schedule as of now is Friday. So I'm going to edit everything that I've been talking about tonight. I'm going to do it quickly. I don't have to do too much edits, I don't think. And then I'm going to have the footage all ready to go. Tomorrow I'm going to just pick some type of thumbnail or whatever and get it uploaded on YouTube. So this is actually one of the most current videos that I've done. I feel like, because I recorded today, at least this portion of me right now today, and tomorrow I'm going to upload this. So what was I saying? I feel like I got off track. Tomorrow I'm going to Milwaukee again. That, the point was, I'm going to Milwaukee again tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna actually take y'all with me. I'm not gonna have the GoPro, but I'm gonna try to get actual footage on my phone and try to put it into the vlog. Just so y'all can see me out and about. Just a little bit though. I'm not gonna be holding up cameras in people's faces all night. Like, And plus like when I go out, I actually like being in the moment too. Cause even if other people say, oh, I don't mind if you recording, but like after a while, I feel like most people do mind, even if they won't say it, <laughs> you know? Unless you're just sitting around a whole group of of uh, content creators who, you know, but even after a certain point, you really just do gotta live in a moment in those times and actually mingle with the people around you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> actually talk and meet, um, especially meet these fine ass men out here. I'm gonna pick this back up in 24 hours while I'm getting ready. Show you in my outfit, showing you my outfit, uh, sh showing us in Milwaukee, child. And I will come back on and talk to y'all and tell y'all about what we was doing out there. So I've been good though, I, I really have. And I think in other videos, you know what too, I will talk more about like not my spirituality and how that's evolving and meditation and changing the way I talk to myself and show up for myself. Fall is also here and I wanna do some fall content too. I'm a small channel and I feel like doing little stuff like that, you know, doing seasonal stuff especially will help my channel, but I also wanna do it. I, re I really like decorating for the holiday. So the only reason I haven't started putting fall stuff up is because I'm kind of want to live in denial just for at least like a, for another week that summer is, is about it here basically. So maybe this weekend I'll go start getting some fall stuff and decorating around the house, so. I'm excited to show y'all that. Oh my God, do y'all see my flowers in the back on the table? Those are the same flowers from the last time that I picked up the camera. The last time I was talking to y'all, they are still there and they still look good. They really do. Like to be over a week old, hold on. This is them. They still look good. I mean, you can tell that they, you know, you know, I mean, they, they're cut flowers, you know what I mean? They're already technically dead. You, I mean, you can't blame them, girl, but they still looking good. Cut the cameras off. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next scene. We about to be in these Milwaukee streets again. <laughs> I need to eat. I feel like I'm like lightheaded and so delirious. I just need to eat, so. Bye or whatever.